we'll go over the method of naming ionic compounds that have one or more polyatomic ions. Any time a formula has more than two elements in it, or more than two capital letters, it must contain at least one polyatomic ion. Let's consider the formula MgSO4. It has three elements in it, magnesium, sulfur, and oxygen. So it must contain a polyatomic ion. The polyatomic ions that we'll be using in this course are shaded on this table. If we are given a formula with more than two elements in it, we look on this table for any polyatomic ions that are in the formula. The formula we're working with is MgSO4. SO4 in the formula is from the polyatomic ion sulfate, SO4 2 minus. Mg in the formula is from the single metal, Mg2 plus. So MgSO4 contains the polyatomic ion sulfate, SO4. Now we'll consider the formula AlNO3 in brackets, 3. This formula also contains three elements aluminum, nitrogen, and oxygen, so it must have a polyatomic ion in it. The formula we're working with is AlNO3-3. We see that NO3 in the formula is from the polyatomic ion nitrate, NO3-, and that the Al in the formula is from the single metal ion, Al3+. So AlNO3-3 contains the polyatomic ion nitrate. We see that this formula contains four elements, nitrogen, hydrogen, chlorine, and oxygen. The formula we're working with is NH4ClO3. Looking on the table, we see that NH4 in the formula comes from the positive polyatomic ion ammonium, NH4+. And ClO3 in the formula comes from the negative polyatomic ion chlorate, ClO3 minus. So the formula NH4ClO3 contains two polyatomic ions, NH4 or ammonium and ClO3 or chlorate. Now that we've shown you how to find the polyatomic ions in formulas, let's look at the rules for naming compounds with polyatomic ions. The first rule is the name of a polyatomic ion does not change in any way when it is used in a compound name. Its name is the same in a compound as it is on an ion table. The second rule is single elements that are not in polyatomic ions follow the same rules as they do in other compounds. The best way to learn how to name compounds with polyatomic ions is to see several examples. Here we're asked to name the compound NH4Br. We see that NH4Br has three elements, nitrogen, hydrogen, and bromine. Therefore, it must contain a polyatomic ion. Looking on the table, we see that NH4 in the formula is from the polyatomic ion NH4+, or ammonium. Names of polyatomic ions don't change when they are part of a compound name. So the first part of the name is ammonium. The formula ends with a single element Br, which the periodic table tells us is bromine. So we'll note bromine down here. But for a non-metal element at the end of a formula, the name must be changed to end in ide. So we'll replace the ene with ide, and we're left with the name bromide. Alternately, we can find Br- on the ion table, and we see that its name is bromide. So if a non-metal ion is on our ion table, we can just copy the name directly from there. So the final answer is, the name of this compound is ammonium bromide. Okay.